If you're anything like me, you adore the music of Phil Collins. <laughs> What's up, everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase, or as I like to call it, Kubase Kubasa Kamakusa. Kubase Kubasa Kamakusa. And today I'm gonna to teach you about a Phil Collins type technique called gated reverb. And it's exactly like it sounds. It's gate and it's a reverb, but it's in reverse order. And what uh, happened in the 80s was that they would put a lot of gated reverb on snare drums, but you can put it on other things as well. And what happens is that the reverb tail starts and then the gate kicks in and the reverb tail kicks out. So let's show you how to do gated reverb by jumping into Cubase. So a good place to start would be to get some samples in the media bay. So we'll get a kick first. Uh, kick. We'll just get this one at the top here that I was using before. And we'll sequence that here. Maybe take this down like so. Uh, and then let's get a snare sample. So snare. I want one without a lot of reverb. That one's okay, there's not much reverb to it. Uh, I want it to sound pretty dry because I'm going to add reverb. So there's my snare. We'll hit Alt and boom. So we have this beat. So in order to achieve a gated reverb effect, we need to add an effects channel that'll be our gated reverb channel. So here's the effects channel with stereo, sounds good. We'll call it gated reverb, boom. And we're gonna add two inserts. The first is reverb. So I'll just add Roomworks, which is the stock reverb in Cubase. Let's see, I don't want any pre-delay. I'll make the reverb time bigger. I'll make the size huge. Ah, that's too big. And I'll make it mix 100 wet only. So we'll listen to what the reverb does first, and then I'll add the gate to show you what that does. So it's not in action because I haven't sent the snare to the reverb channel, but all I have to do is activate a send to the gated reverb channel. And I'll show you when I turn it on, when this turns blue right here on the left, you'll see. So you have that reverb tail just uh, sort of dominating everything. So one thing you can do is add a gate to that to cut it off. And I must tell you the key components of this are of course the threshold of the gate, but mostly attack, release, and hold. So you'll just have to play around with those till you get it to sound like you want it to. Here's no gate. And as you can see, you have the gated reverb effect. So this is no reverb. Here's with the reverb. And here's with the gate on the reverb. So I hope that this has been a useful tutorial. I tried to go quick just so you get the concept. It's like making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You need peanut butter and jelly, but the key takeaways are create an FX track with a reverb and a gate, and then send whatever you want to gate reverb on to that track, and you can adjust the amount that you send, and make sure that the reverb is before the gate so that the gate is working on the tail of the reverb. And voila, you have gated reverb. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe, and take care, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.